Well then, hi, good morning. That's been the complaint about this market, right? What you mentioned, the fact that it's been so narrow, the rally that we've seen since mid-March. Um, and, and deceptive of sorts. I mean, barring a TCS, Infosys, a Bajaj Finance, there's been so much damage actually in the broader market. You think that's the way the texture is going to play out for a bit? Well, it has been like that, Sonia, for some time now. I mean, it's a strange kind of market in a sense. Uh, you know, we are trading at 11,000 on the nifty, a whisker away from all-time highs. But it doesn't feel like that, does it? I mean, if you ask around on the street, I don't think there's a great amount of jubilation that we're approaching new highs. In fact, new highs won't mean a lot this time around if it comes with the kind of uh, breadth that we are seeing. So you have a strange situation where maybe 15, 20 stocks are in a bull market. The rest of the market is almost like in a bear grip. Uh, so, you know, it's a very, very strange, dichotomous kind of market. And I doubt whether sentiment is great because of that. Because you know, how many people actually own TCS and HDFC Bank. Mm. And even the results, I think, are quite mixed. I mean, the start of the earnings season have been quite mixed. Mm. I mean, last time I remember on the fourth quarter after the first week, we all thought that it was a, going to be a great quarter for earnings. And it turned out to be a damn squib by the end of it. This time around, the first quarter, uh, first week of the earnings season, uh, you know, so many, I mean, TCS was great. It flagged it off so well. But then Infosys, Wipro, Mindtree were not great. The two of the first private banks have been mildly lackluster. Bajaj Auto was a disappointment on the margin front. Sure, there have been hits like your Havels and Bata's and Seat and the uh, two Bajaj finance companies. But otherwise, I think even at the end of the first week, you're saying it's a mixed bag, which is not a great portent for the rest of the season. Okay, well then, uh, good morning. Stay on. I'll just uh, come back to you, but uh, I need to take Ashwini's 910 call. Uh, Ashwini, what would be your top conviction call? So that is true. Buy the dip on uh, Bank Nifty. Maybe even buy HDFC Bank if it uh, opens 2-2.5% two, mm -hmm. two lower. But overall, the 914 call is hexaware. That's a buy with a stop of 498, target of 515. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, oh, then, uh, did you go through the UPL deal? It's corrected quite significantly from the, from the highs. Uh, uh, any thoughts on how to approach that stock now? The first thought is, before an announcement of a deal, if a stock makes a significant 25% move, I think you should ask some questions. You know, there are many companies which do very large deals and nobody knows till the last day. The stock makes a zero move and it reacts after the deal is announced. But in some companies, the stock factors in uh, an announcement of a deal four weeks in advance. That usually is not a great sign. But that's a governance issue. I think on the deal itself, uh, strategically, it seems to make sense. But sometimes the near-term <coughs> reaction on a stock price is not, uh, the market does not see the deal through the lens of the promoter. <coughs> the promoter may have different aspirations of size, diversification of portfolio. The market might obsess about the balance sheet leverage, might talk about whether the growth will have to be toned down in the near term over the next couple of years because the base is becoming so large to grow on. And these kind of considerations might rein in any kind of exuberance. So it's what lens and what kind of time horizon you're looking at with the stock, which is absolutely critical. And I think the same will hold of Hindalco as well. Strategically, it looks like a nice forward-looking acquisition, Alaris. But uh, whether at a time when the metal cycle itself is in question and LME aluminum prices are down 25% from peak, whether the market will be able to absorb in this scenario a large deal is the thing to ponder over. So I think both these deals, UPL and Hindalco, strategically, strategically look fine, but um, balance sheet concerns and other issues uh, might actually come in the way of the stocks reacting positively. Yeah, point taken. Uh, I guess uh, uh, promoters are more visionary 